Welcome back to What Arty Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the Object 907. It's a Tier 10 reward medium tank, a Soviet. It's located on the defending team of Ghost Town Assault and it's under the command of Oppenheimer. Yes, it's, this is a reward tank you get for being one of the top players in the clan wars and in the competitions. It's a very, very decent medium and battle has commenced. The gun is a 100mm gun capable of 320 alpha. It's a fairly low alpha, but then it does have a fairly good reload time as well. Normally it's around about 6 seconds, but he's managed to get it down to 4.73, which makes a big difference. Now it's got a V-shaped hull, which I don't think you can see there, but it is a V-shaped hull, which makes it uh, pretty strong on its armour, and the turret's very good as well. Okay, enemy back chat comes up to that gap between the buildings. Not sure he realises there's a powerful medium coming up on him. He's very low on hit points now. I think he's about to die. He's just around the corner. Pops around. Oh, he dies before Oppenheimer can get at him. Now, this is quite an agile tank and a fast tank at that. 55 kilometers an hour, 20 backwards. It's basically a upgrade version of the T-54. That's what they were intending to make. Of course, it's one of the designs which was rejected because uh, they just didn't go ahead and build it. But it's a very decent little tank, actually, if you think about it. Good armor, good trollish armor, just a poor DPM, poor alpha. I say poor alpha, but not a poor DPM. It's got a good DPM because it's got a fast reload, but... Okay, there is somebody just around that corner. You can't see him at the moment, but there is somebody there. There's a Bisonte there, actually, as well. It's just playing a waiting game at the moment for them to come round. As you know, Assault Games 10 minutes long, and we've had over two minutes so far, and Arbenheimer hasn't got a single shot on the enemy yet. Okay, now he's going to have some shots. In fact, there's a, the wreck is going to be very useful to him here. Uh, yes, another shot in. He's firing the HE into that FB4005's turret, because of course it's very weak time. It paper thin, lets the shell straight through. Oh, that one missed. I see normally good gun handling on this thing. Oh, that one hit. He's going to take out that guy. Oh, no, that guy was in the drop. He's loaded the APCR for the, the uh, Bisonte. Can he get a final shot? Oh, no, missed. And he needs to worry about that one. Yes, the Bisonte with the auto reloader. Pulls back. Can he get another one in? He's angled this time. And this time around, it worked. Still got to worry about the missile there because he might reload. Takes him a little while to reload. No. Critical hit but didn't get a kill. Uh, that Bisonte is trying to get a shot on him. Oh, it's not a Bisonte. It's an IS-22. Sorry. Okay, keeps popping up every now and then. Ah, oh, that one worked. 306. Notice how he moves forward. And backwards, forwards and backwards to actually, it throws off the shells. If they hit at the wrong angle, they'll just bounce off. Okay, now he's going to bully this IS-22. He's got the pen on this guy. Even though the guy's got a double gun. Yeah, he's out of the game. You don't want to get trapped in that little pit though, because that is quite dangerous then, because then you can get vulnerable to somebody jumping on top of you. 53 TP takes a round through the side of the turret. And yep, thank you very much. I'll have another one. He's firing the heat rounds now. And that gets him, but he did get hit in the tracks. Had to burn his repair kit for that because he needs to get mobile. He's got more tanks to kill. He's up to 4.3k of damage already. Trying to shoot through the gap. No, it's not going to work. 
It's an IS-4 as well, which of course, as you know, are actually very strong tanks. A lot of people think the IS-4, oh, they think, oh, that's, no, it's nothing like an IS-7. It's actually quite a strong tank altogether. Oh, took a round there from a T-10 to his left. Go for the shot on the, yes. Got a high caliber, potentially. It's 20% of the enemy hit, but his teammate gets in the way. And kills the IS-4. Now he needs to deal with that T-10, who's just around the corner. But I think the TN, T-10's waiting for him, so he's going to go around from a different angle. Now, two tanks up on the enemy at the moment. That's better. You can come up on this guy from behind. He doesn't want to go out too wide because if he goes out and around, people will start shooting him from a long distance away up on the hills, and that's what he doesn't want. There's a T-57 Heavy somewhere. And of course, you know it's got a 120mm gun with a four-shot autoloader. He doesn't want that guy to fire into him because he could be out the game in one clip. There he is, and he's not looking this way. He fires one round in, gets 350. He's still firing the heat. Auto aims on. He's getting nice penetration on that guy. Oh no, that one didn't work. Oh dear. And watch out, there's a camp panzer 50 come up there. Ah, looks like, was that fire or was that two guys hitting in at the same time? He's getting nice hits. In fact, that T-57 Heavy is now toast. So that is his fifth kill. He could get a top gun if he can get one more. There's only five enemies remaining, but potentially he's got the high caliber already. He bounced around that came from an SU-130PM, so he is being looked at. And the SU-130PM, where is he? Well, he's in sight of somebody. It's the Camp Panzer and a Conway. Now, where are they? Oh, there's the Conway over there. It's headed towards him. It looks like they're up on the cliff. Oh, it's the SU-130 PM. Oh, and he doesn't get the kill. He needs to get this last kill to get the Top Gun. If not, he's going to have to make do with the high caliber. I get the feeling his teammates are going to get there before he does. He's supposed to have the faster medium, but the LT-432 is a very quick little light tank, a premium, and he's got the kill that finishes off the game for a win. So I guess it's probably just the high caliber, but a good battle all the same. Lots of action. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Here's the end of battle stats, and it was a first class tanker for Oppenheimer in the Object 907. He managed to get a fighter badge for taking out at least four tanks. He actually ended up with five, just one short of getting that top gun. He also got a shell proof for blocking more damage than the hit points of his own vehicle, a duelist for taking down two tanks who damaged him, and a five for effect for doing more damage than the hit points of his own vehicle, and a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got 12 in total. And yes, he did pick up the high caliber in that game for doing the most damage. And his win eight from the battle was 8,895 super super unicum. <laughs> or shall I say just very good unicum. Um, an ultra unicum, let's put it that way. Okay, let's have a look at the team score and see where he stood. Well, 7,136 hit points was the high caliber. And 4,036 went to the IS-4 on the enemy team, followed by 3,610 to the Camp Panzer 50 ton on his own team. When it came to kills, he had the highest number with five. The next highest scorers only had two kills apiece, the Camp Panzer, the T-44-100, the LT-432, the IS-4 on the enemy team, their Camp Panzer, and the FB-4005. And when it came to base XP, he was the top with 1,326, which puts him top in all three columns. 1,059 went to the Camp Panzer, and 1,018 went to the GSR OR 1,008. So the top three players having more than 1,000 base XP between them. He fired 30 rounds, got 26 direct hits and 23 penetrations. Damage of 7,136 hit points, of which 392 were at more than 300 meters. 10 hits received, 2 penetrations, 8 non-penetrations, and 1 hit by way of splash damage, 2,390 hit points of damage blocked by armour. He damaged 7 of the enemy, killed 5, and did 954 hit points of spotting assist. 
On a premium account, he earned 96,525 credits, got 36,680 from Holiday Ops, total of 133,205 credits. And even after firing all that premium ammo, after repair, ammunition respite and consumables, he still made a profit, only just, of 1,612 credits. Well, it's not, not a thing to write home about, but it's certainly good. Seven bonds, because it was a tier 10 game. And 1,989 XP times 5 on this occasion, 3,978 from Holiday Ops, 99 for this being a premium vehicle and took away 14,022 experience points altogether. So yes, 7.1k in a 907. Well, probably about standard for Oppenheimer, but it would be a miracle for most of us if we could do that sort of damage on a regular basis. So thanks very much for sending in the replay. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel, leave a comment down below because it feeds the YouTube algorithm, uh, although I'm not sure how long we're going to remain on YouTube for, uh, as the way things are going, but uh, uh, thanks very much for watching and good night.